just need to figure out a way to stop literal spam mail. <laughs> like, is there an app for this? Hey there, Foxy people! Welcome back to another session of Ask Firefox. If it's your first time, so glad to have you here. Many of you have questions about how to get by in this tangled web the internet weaves. So we're gonna break it down. Some of the things to know, places to avoid, and habits to change to surf safely and confidently. First question, is there any way to stop spam mail or do I just have to hit unsubscribe until I'm finally released from this mortal coil? Oh, the million dollar question. One of the main things you can do is try an email mask. While email's built-in spam filters are all right nowadays, they really do let a lot slip by. And you know you can't help it. Signing up for this website, dropping an email to get this coupon, even if you think you're being pretty cautious, you're bound to give up your info to someone who sold you out. Maybe it's not always that conniving. I'm sure you set up an account for something you definitely want or supposedly need. But even they will send you some annoying weekly emails. Golly, leave me alone! So that's where an email mask like Firefox Relay really comes in handy. You should use it pretty much anytime you need to sign up for something. What it does is it sets up fake email addresses that automatically forward your real email address, and then you turn it off when you're done. It's more than just unsubscribing from emails, which by the way, doesn't stop all emails from a sender, like transactional ones. It just shuts off the account, so you won't receive anything at all from the sender anymore. Whew. So, when to use it? Shop somewhere frequently and want to save those coupons? Relay! Too many email notifications from your oh so popular 25 followers social media account? Relay! That literal one time account you need to get access to something you never want to see again? You've been relayed! Get out of my face, spam man! All right, next question. How can you tell an email is a scam when every hacker has Photoshop? It's a big concern. Scammers are getting extra tricky nowadays. Phishing scams have been around the block. They're usually easy to spot. Emails with bad grammar, incorrect names, or just looking totally shady. But there are many scammers who are getting pretty savvy. Some of them sending you things that look like an email from a legit institution. You might see something coming in asking you to reset your password. Because your account has been compromised, it might have the logo of your bank and even bring you to a URL that very much looks like your bank. But look carefully, that URL might have a capital letter I instead of a lowercase l. Wait, which is which? See? I can't even tell. So now you've gone and clicked the link from this legit looking email, you're at this legit looking website, and you're about to enter your legit password. Pretty tricky situation. The best way to avoid this is to manually type in the URL of the institution that's asking for your login. Some of these scams aren't even asking for your info, but asking you to download the latest update for some software you might use. I know, I know, we all need to keep our random whale facts app up to date, but this could very well contain a virus or malware. You don't want this Pandora's box unleashed on your computer. Mm-mm, not today, honey. Do the same thing, go to the actual URL. If there's a real update, it should be there. If you wanna to be totally sure, look up the customer support line and call them. They'll definitely let you know what's up and be sure to give you the latest coupe on whales. Keep an eye on the emails you're getting that's asking you for anything other than a straight up reply. Logins, passwords, downloads, make sure there isn't something a little fishy about it. Because if it's fishy, it's fishing. Best of all, go direct to the source and make sure it's too legit to quit. Hey, did it. It happens outside of emails too and can occur in user to user interactions. Trying to buy that hoverboard off Facebook Marketplace? Think you found a dream job on Craigslist? Just make sure you aren't sending them any info you wouldn't normally need to give in those situations. Some scammers out there are jumping through hoops to get you got. So, don't give out any logins, bank info, or send money without getting the actual object. It's not Nike, just don't do it. But maybe you did. And that leads us to the next question. Hypothetically, if someone fell for a phishing scam, what should they do? Don't panic. It's happened to the best of us. Contact the business where it happened. If it's your Netflix account, shoot an email and tell them you think you've been scammed. They'll help you out. And it's great for them to know what's happening out there. If the account that's been compromised has any of your financial info, like credit cards, bank accounts, call the credit card company, call your bank, shoot, call the Ghostbusters, I don't care. Let them know you've been scammed. If you've been defrauded, they can get a jump on it right away. If it hasn't, they can be ready for it and let you know what to do next. If it's even worse, you might have given up your social security number or other personal information. You should head on over to identitytheft.gov. Report what happened, and they'll plan out a way to recover it and guide you through the process. Now, if you haven't already, try using Firefox Monitor. It'll let you know when you've been a part of a data breach. Sometimes things happen and it takes a while before we get notified. Stay ahead of it with Firefox Monitor. Okay, this one's a fun question. A robot keeps calling, warning me that a warranty on a car I don't own is about to expire. How do I make it stop? Please. 
nothing is worse than picking up your phone and staring at an unknown number thinking, this is probably a scam, but I should probably pick it up. But if it's important, they'll leave a message, right? Yeah, we've all been down that rabbit hole before with Alice and them, and dealt with the unnerving pressure of having to decide whether or not you're going to pick up while the volume seemingly increases with each ring until it's buzzing through your brain. But don't fret, there's a few things you can do to prevent calls from pesky robots. First off, many phone service providers have ways to help deal with this. Some of them are handled right through their website or from your phone. Second, you can put numbers on a block list and have incoming calls checked against that list to let you know if it's suspicious. Some of them have enhanced caller IDs and will just hold the spam for you. And lastly, there are also third-party apps that supposedly have more active and up-to-date spam lists, but make sure you're looking into these apps before getting one. After all, you're giving them access to all your calls and potentially more from your phone. All right, so now that we know how to stop junk mail and robocalls, well, we can focus on more important things, like signing up for more cute bots. But seriously, I hope you learned something useful here. Did you create an email mask? Finally get rid of that spam? Let us know in the comments below. If you have any questions you want answered, chime in, and we just might be able to help you out in a future episode. We're also on Twitter and Instagram at Firefox. Give us a follow. Be sure to check out some other episodes in the meantime. There could be a useful tip that we've already covered just for you.